Let me turn away from two wheelers now into real estate. Godrich Properties has had a very good quarter. In fact, that's been a stock which has been outperforming for the last few weeks, now at 611. Pirocha Godrich, uh, Managing Director of Godrich Properties, joins me now to take us through the numbers. Pirocha, good morning. Thanks for joining in. Uh, there's a lot of excitement about Godrich Summit and how well that's done for you. Uh, just take us through the numbers, what kind of realizations you manage from that and what your expectations are from the Gurgaon market in general. Great to be with you again. I think we, we did have a positive quarter in Q2. And as you rightly pointed out, I think Godred Summit was a key part of that success. Uh, we, as has been reported, we sold about 1 million square feet or almost 700 apartments in that project in a single day. And that led to a booking value of about 600 crores uh, for the company. So that certainly drove our overall booking figure, uh, which ended the quarter at 965 crore, which was about a 330% increase on a year-on-year -year basis. Um, we also had strong growth in revenues, uh, which grew about 64% to 233 crore. Our EBITDA grew by more than 100% uh, to 72 crore, and our net profit ended at 33 crore, which was about a 68% increase. All of those numbers, of course, don't factor in the Godrej Summit numbers because of the percentage completion accounting method which we follow. The Godrej Summit and other new launch uh, is that we've had, those numbers will only start coming in uh, to the revenue stream over the next few quarters. What kind of average rates are you selling at in Gurgaon? In Gurgaon, for the, for the second quarter, we ended at an average rate just a shade under 6,000 rupees a square foot. We'll be launching within the second phase of that project in the, in the next few days. Um, and we do expect to launch that at a substantial premium given the strong success of the first one. And on this second phase, I think the goal will not be so much to try and replicate our success with volumes, but rather make sure we push for, for good, strong pricing to further improve the already strong margins on the project. On hindsight, would you, should you have priced Summit a bit higher at the way it flew off the shelf? You know, it's, it's a great question and our, our honest answer is no. I mean, we certainly feel we could have probably sold at a slightly higher price. But at the same time, you know, this price was already much higher than we expected to sell at just a few weeks before we launched. We took a price revision even within that one day. And we're quite happy with the, the price we received. Of course, you know, I, I think given the response, we could have probably even sold um, well at a slightly higher price. But I think it was more important for us to achieve the kind of volumes we have at very good pricing. And I do think that our general philosophy is to focus quite a lot on volumes and make sure that we are um, successful successful in creating those volumes because I think pricing will always follow once a project is successful. And keep in mind that it's a 2 million square foot project, so we only sold half the project in the first phase. And I think, as I mentioned, the strategy on the remainder of the project will be now that we have this very strong base in place to focus almost entirely on margins. Mm. How's the Bangalore market shaping up for you with specific reference to your Gold, Country, uh, Gold County project? Well, then we've had two launches in uh, Bangalore over the last month. Both have done very well. Gold County, the project you mentioned, is a villa project. It's a high-end project. That has done quite well. We've sold uh, about sort of a little over 40% of the launched inventory. What has, however, been an even greater success is our project Godridge E-City, uh, which is an apartment uh, complex in, in, in the electronic city area of Bangalore. And there again, we've had outstanding volumes with about a quarter million square feet sold in the, in the just under a month since that project has been launched. So I think the Bangalore market is looking good for us, as is the NCR market. And of course, our Mumbai market, which is a very important one for us, has also been looking good. We launched um, the third phase of our project in Vikroli, Godridge Platinum on the Sera a little over a week ago and we've seen great responses there. We're selling now at prices that are about 30 to 35 percent higher than the price we launched the first phase at almost exactly a year ago and there too we've seen great volumes with almost 50 percent of the inventory um, in that phase sold within one week. Mm. More than uh, just over half your revenues for the quarter came in from Godrich 1. Two-part question on that. A, do you, will you exhaust your entire inventory on Godrich 1 within this fiscal year? And B, as you go into F514 then, do you still expect to clock the kind of margins that you're clocking now if Godrich 1 is exhausted by then? 
Well, then I think we will recognize uh, additional revenue from Godrej One uh, this fiscal year. I don't expect it to be um, entirely depleted by the end of this financial year, but certainly I think this financial year we'll see more revenues uh, coming from Godrej One than next financial year will. Um, I think our margins have been a li little bit under pressure on some of our projects, particularly commercial projects in tier two cities and some of our middle income residential projects because of the huge uptick we've seen in construction costs over the last couple of years. With those construction costs now uh, plateauing and with new launches coming up at higher price points, we're quite confident that next year the margin profile on all our other projects will be higher. Also keep in mind that Godridge One is a 750,000 square foot project of what is a total of about 3.7 million square feet that we expect to develop in this Vikroli project. We expect the remainder of the project to be as high margin as Godridge One and we hope to start uh, work on the remainder of that project next year. So I think the trees, which is the project of which Godridge One is a part, is a project that will be contributing to our revenue for the next uh, four or five years at least. So I do expect the strong uh, margins from that uh, project to benefit us uh, for the next few years. How quickly can you bring down debt on your balance sheet, uh, Pirocha? As c cash flows remain strong through the next few quarters, uh, have you set any targets or way to bring down your overall gearing by? Because that's probably an area of mild concern for analysts who track your company. Well, then I think we've had a slightly divergent view from some of those analysts on this uh, metric. We think we're at quite a comfortable level. Our current gearing level is just over one is to one. Just to put that in perspective, we ended quarter three of last financial year with a gearing level of two is to one. Our absolute net debt is also decreased by almost uh, 400 crores. So we feel fairly good about where things are currently. That said, our focus uh, from a strategic perspective is going to be more and more on residential real estate. And we do think that will allow us to operate um, at a more efficient debt level. And we do feel that as we're able to unlock some of these tier two city uh, commercial projects that we have, which has been, I must admit, uh, a more time consuming affair than we would have liked, and as we start further monetizing Godridge One in Vikroli and as we launch Godridge BKC, our important project in Bandra Kurla complex, uh, which we hope to launch this quarter, we do expect to be able to uh, reduce our gearing levels further. But I wouldn't say that that is a, is a key focus or that we have some particular target in mind for that. We already feel our gearing levels are at reasonable levels. And I think what uh, some of these metrics uh, miss is things like our Vikroli project, which gives the company a huge uh, flow of cash flows over, the, uh, many, uh, over many years and for which we don't have to invest in the construction. So something like that isn't fully captured in a gearing ratio, but will c create thousands of crores of cash flow for the company, of course, over an extended period of time. Good luck, Pirocha. Thanks very much for your time today. Good talking to you. But that's Godrej Properties up two and a quarter percent today, so has got a good response uh, yesterday included uh, from the results. To the commodity space then, where